Hey, welcome to the Science Hutch. We've got a little free body diagram activity in eight stations here for you. The first station is with the Hulk. Imagine he is on an elevator and you've got to draw some free body diagrams for him in four situations. Number one, draw a free body diagram for Hulk standing in an elevator. A, while the elevator is at rest. B, while the elevator is moving up at constant speed. Boom. C, while the elevator is accelerating up from rest. And D, while the elevator is accelerating down from rest. Let's check out another station. You do not have to do these stations in order. But here is station number two. We have a physics nerd from Nerds Candy. And we're going to draw free body diagrams for the physics nerd in these different situations. Draw a free body diagram for the stuffed animal falling through the air. A, falling straight down after being dropped. B, flying up after being thrown upward. C, moving in a parabola after being thrown up. And to the right note, all of these cases involve free fall, meaning no air resistance. Boo! Let's check out this station back here. We have a pendulum and this is a pendulum bob and let's let it do what it do when it do what it do. There it is swinging back and forth in what we call simple harmonic motion. What you gonna do? Draw a free body diagram for a mass swinging back and forth on a string. Draw the free body diagram for two places. A when the mass is at the bottom of the swing. B, when the mass is at the highest point in its swing on the left. Nope, this is called a pendulum. And that is called a bob. Let's look at another station over here. Station number six. We have a wooden ramp and a wooden block sitting on the ramp. It's very epic <laughs> in the most blockish way possible. Activity. FBD station number six, draw an FBD for a block of wood on a ramp when it is A, resting on the ramp, not sliding just like it is right now. B, imagine it sliding down the ramp at constant velocity. And C, imagine it sliding down the ramp, constantly accelerating, speeding up. Woo, oh yeah. Okay, what else, what else, what else? Ooh, ooh, this is one of my favorite ones. Boba Fett on a turntable. Flippity dippity dip. What's going on here? This is actually station number eight. Draw a free body diagram for a mass. Boba Fett is the mass in this case. Sitting at rest on a rotating record player. What are the forces right there? What do we got over there on that, on those tables? Hmm, maybe it's three more stations of free body diagrams. What's this one? We got a flat track with a cart. Rolling on over, activity free body diagram. Station number three, draw a free body diagram for the cart on the flat track rolling to the left at constant velocity with no friction. B, slowing down due to friction. C, speeding up while being pushed with no friction. And D, at constant velocity while being pushed against friction. Let's look at another station over here. This is my second favorite one. What's up, heart man? giving us the thumbs up. He's hanging here on two spring scales with a little added, added mass down there because he does not weigh very much. Activity station number four. Draw a free body diagram for a mass hanging from two ring stands. Ring stand. Ring stand. Mm -hmm. Mass. By two spring scales. Spring scale. Spring scale. A with both spring scales pulling straight upward on the mass. That's gonna look like this. We're gonna have to modify this just a little bit to see it. Here we go. Now they're both pulling straight up on that mass. What about B? B says, with the scales pulling up at equal angles diagonally, that's what we had to start with. Here we go. Bada bing, bada bang, whoa! And those are equal angles diagonally. And C, with one scale pulling exactly to the left and the other scale pulling up at a diagonal angle. Mm, this is going to require a little bit of what we do. Let's pull this down. Beep. Set it there for a second. We're going to untighten. We're going to drop, 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 drop. Down to B equal height with Hartman. Boop. That's approximately good enough. Pull this on over. And it's gonna be a little bit tricky. And we're gonna put it on here. Pull this 
and we need to raise that up just a little bit. There we go. So it's pulling exactly to the left, and the other one's pulling up diagonally. Take a look at those readings on the four scales, and you might see some cool physics there. Okay, that's station number four. Let's look at the last one. Last but not least, a cart on an angled ramp crocked up on some awesome physics books. Station number five, draw a free body diagram for a cart resting against the end stop at the bottom of a ramp. So here it is, resting. I got a little spring on there just for fun, but that's what you wanna look at right there. What's the free body diagram for that guy? Thanks for watching, have fun physicsing my physicists. Peace out.